before using your device. Charge the device with the USB charging cable. Once the indicator light goes out, the device is fully charged and the cable can be removed. If the device is put on charge when it is already partially charged, it may shortly complete charging and turn off. Press the open button to open the top cover. Remove the suction cover. Remove the electrolysis tank by pulling straight upwards on the drainage screw cap. If the electrolysis tank is difficult to remove, use your finger to gently push the tank up through the electrolysis tank check window. Remove the electrolysis tank stopper, pulling gently in line with the indicator arrow. The filter layer can now be pulled straight up to remove it from the tank. There is an O-ring attached to the filter layer. As it can become dislodged and or removed easily, please handle the device with care. To avoid leakage when pouring liquid into the tank, hold the tank upwards and squeeze the bottle gently. Ensure that each droplet falls directly into the hole that drops into the chamber below and does not become stuck in the upper part of the tank. If any of the liquid spills outside of the tank, use a cloth to gently wipe away any spillage. Reattach the filter layer to the tank, ensuring that both components line up correctly. Reattach the stopper, ensuring that the indicator arrow is facing upwards. When reinstalling the stopper, ensure the arrow on the stopper is facing upwards. Carefully check to make sure that the stopper is properly inserted into the slot, with no gaps between the stopper and tank. Without touching the gas filter on top of the filter layer, grasp the drainage screw cap and gently insert the filter layer and tank back into the main unit. Ensure that all components line up correctly and slide correctly into the chamber. The device must not be exposed to water, as water will damage the device. Do not attempt to install or remove parts with wet hands. Ensure the electrolysis tank is aligned correctly when inserting it back into the chamber of the device. If the filter layer and tank cannot be inserted, ensure that the stopper is correctly inserted. Lastly, reattach the suction cover. For instructions on how to use the hydrogen only mode, please see the basic usage video. For instructions on how to use the hydrogen plus flavour mode and flavour only mode, please see the advanced usage video.